Hi, I'm Julie Weber of Liberate Ministries, and today's topic is called Relationships Video 4. The resources for this video comes from the Liberate and Freedom Seminars and from Life's Observations. Through the last few relationship videos, we have been covering different scenarios of having an abortion and how it affects your relationships. Today, I want to talk about marriage and speak from a different angle of how abortion can affect your marriage relationship. The angle I'm speaking about is looking at your abortion from your other children's eyes in family settings. In talking about abortion with adult children of parents who've aborted one of their siblings, I discovered one aspect that came out of all scenarios. None of their parents wanted to face the topic and publicly talk about it within their family. These adult children just want family restoration so they can move on in life. At the same time, they also wanted to respect their parents' privacy and didn't want to press them to talk about it. They just can't understand how come they don't deal with it. Well, let's look at three family scenarios that are happening today. Family scenario one, I was having a conversation with a professional entrepreneur and he mentions to me about his parents' abortion. He shared that his mom had mentioned to them a while back that she had had an abortion. They know that their father is involved somehow. They watch silently and witness how their mom treats their father if and when the topic does briefly come up. Years go by. They can't understand why their parents don't work on the issue in their family. They want to help their parents, but don't know what to do. They said their parents had an abortion when they were younger. Family Scenario 2 Early on in my career, after I had publicly shared my story, I had a pastor reveal to me that his mom had revealed to him that she had had an abortion. His father was the father of that child who was now a sibling of his. He couldn't understand first how his parents could make a decision to give life to one child in their family and not give life to another child. How come he was spared from dying? What was going on in their relationship to have this happen? He wanted answers and he wanted so much to help his parents and just didn't know what to do. He was angry and frustrated that his parents didn't deal with it. He just wanted to get past this point in his life. Family Scenario 3 Observations from two single adults who became pregnant and were encouraged to have an abortion from their parents. Their parents believed in abortion, so they were not able to keep their child. After we spent some time with them, helping them understand about their abortion, they had the kids change their views on abortion and were going to change the way they live and believe. They also wanted to help their parents get healed from their abortions. Their parents were not willing to get the help for their abortions. The two single adults couldn't understand why they were here working on their healing when their parents won't deal with it. In their eyes, this just didn't seem right. In this particular situation, there was lots of talk going back and forth between the parents and the kids about their beliefs and stance on abortion. These kids just wanted to get past their abortion experience and get on with their lives. 
they also wanted family restoration. The Google's definition of one flesh is one flesh, phrase of flesh. Number one, used to refer to the spiritual and the physical union of two people in a relationship, especially in marriage. My body is his and his is mine, one flesh. The information is cited from this attached link to this video. It is also a term used in the Bible from this scripture. Genesis 2, 23 through 25. The man said, finally, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh, name her woman for she was made from man. Therefore, a man leaves his father and his mother and embraces his wife. They become one flesh. The two of them, the man and his wife, were naked, but they felt no shame. Has abortion brought shame upon your marriage relationship? Has it extended to your family settings so much that you just can't talk about it? This could be shame. Maybe your children can see this, but you can't. Let's talk about plea. Well, cited from the vocabulary.com quoted, plea, a verb, has two different meanings. It can describe cutting or splitting or something apart with a sharp instrument. Or oddly enough, it can describe sticking to something like glue. To cleave or not to cleave, that is the question. Finding family restoration. I'd like to speak to people who are married and they have abortion in their marriage relationship. You need to decide if you want to take your family to the next level up for family restoration. In all instances, both the, the wife and the husband need to come to a point of discussing the abortion that you had early on in your marriage relationship. You need to decide to begin working the process of forgiving each other. When finding family restoration after abortion, it doesn't matter what relationship scenario you've encountered regarding abortion. Each of your scenarios is unique and important to God. How can we expect our children to work on their abortion issues if we as adults are not willing to deal with it? As adults, you are much stronger than you think. You can deal with this in a healthy way and begin bringing restoration today into your marriage relationship for future family settings. Join me in prayer. Father God, I pray for all the married couples joining us in prayer today that their one flesh relationship would be renewed and strengthened. I speak the life of God into these relationships and their spiritual sharpness as a couple returns. That couples would forgive each other and begin to cleave together again in a healthy physical union. That nothing would separate their physical or spiritual one flesh union again, including abortion. I rebuke the spirit of shame off of these family settings in Jesus name. I pray for family restoration for these couples agreeing in prayer today that their future family settings will go a level up. That siblings would begin to find freedom 
and peace. Amen. Thanks for watching. Live light liberated.